Hi friends, this is Roberta from Roberta's Artistic Adventures and this is our backyard here in Ohio and we're getting a little bit of snow this morning and so this is our backyard and this is the remnants from this past spring and summer, our garden. This here is a row of raised garden beds. We have some raised garden bed along the fence line. We have a little raised garden bed there for potatoes. We have a raised garden bed here that had strawberries and milkweed. Um, and then the wood is wood that was thrown out from the upstairs window because we're doing renovation upstairs in the house. This is my shabin. And my little two tables where I do some of my gardening and potting and stuff. In these raised garden beds, we had tomatoes and lots of varieties of peppers, dill, broccoli, cabbage, lavenders, hibiscus. You can see still some of the pods from the okra up here. You can see one here and a bunch of them right up in here. In this particular section, there was mostly uh, pollinating type flowers, it paper lace flowers, um, moon flowers, all kind of different flowers, marigolds and such. In this row, we had blueberries, which did not do so well this year, and a bunch of raspberries and blackberries and golden berries. And these in the the back end of this row and the little bit of the back end of that row are cherry bushes. And they really started taking off, but my daughter doesn't like them, so she's gonna pull them up and we're gonna plant something else. But all these great spindly things here are the blackberries, which really took off. And oh my goodness, they're absolutely delicious. And we need to do some arboring so they can grow over an arbor. And so we're going to work on that this year. In between each of these rows where it's darker white, it's because there's black fabric cloth in between each of these rows here. And that's where we planted hundreds of cantaloupe and watermelons. So we had a, a great variety, or a great abundance of them. We had lots of varieties, but we also had a great abundance of them this year. Um, in this little raised bed here was for potatoes. Along the cattle paddle fencing here, the cattle panel fencing right here was the passion flower, the passion fruit, and that took up that whole 16 foot length, and it was uh, about two foot or more thick with all the leaves and blooms, and the bees were just all over that. They just loved it, and the rest of that cattle panel had a bunch of different varieties of grapes, muscadines, and all the other varieties of grapes. And we also have cattle panel fencing from that corner all the way back behind my shabin. And we have yet to plant anything up along that end of it. It's harder to plant on that side because this part of the property back along here was actually part of a road that continued back through here which that part is still a road but whoever ended up buying this property turned it into land by covering it with a small amount of dirt and planting grass so it's not enough dirt to actually dig down and plant something we have about three rows of trees we actually have four but we have two long rows of trees that come all the way back and we have a third row and then we have a fourth row here with a couple of little trees. And 
this this yard is a mess because like I said we're doing a bunch of demo work I don't know what they have my chair over here for this is a bunch of elderberry um, we have a couple of fig plants over here this one I can't see where I'm at my that's a fig and I think that one there is a fig this one that's standing up here this here used to be a tree that was much taller than this house and we cut that down by ourselves and all the wood is stacked behind my shabin so we can use it in our fire ring in the back and in the back there we have posts and we can hang up six hammocks and a ring around the ring fire the fire ring um, I'm not going to tell you any more about the, the the garden that we used to have here for last year we're going to redo everything this year and we're really looking forward to it we've been looking at catalogs and ordering Last night, my daughter put through an order for 1,500 strawberry starts, so that's exciting. It'd be exciting to see what all else we're going to order. We're really having a lot of fun looking through to see all the fun things we can plant. It's really cold, and I'm out here in my sandals, and my toes is froze. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.